Let's talk about a, a flap issue, and it's more of an operator issue than it is an airplane thing. Our flaps are perfectly legal to put down in the white arc. And here we have um, an aileron laying on the ground, and normally that torque tube would go through the flap, through the flap torque tube, and go to the uh, bell cranks that actually move the control surfaces for you. But what I wanted to call your attention out is the flap is laminated like our aircraft. It's bonded and it has honeycomb ribs. And if you look right here, you can see a wear spot in here. And it, these wear spots occur everywhere there's a rib in the aircraft, in the flap itself. And what that is from is when you put the flaps down in flight, there's a tremendous aerodynamic load on the flaps. And the flap actually bends. And when it bends, it can rub the torque tube that goes through there. So that's why we recommend that you don't put your flaps down until you really need them around 80 miles an hour. Slow the airplane down and then put your flaps down. Um, it's just take care of your airplane. Don't get any unnecessary rubbing because these torque tubes, once they get 30 thousandths of diameter reduction, they're scrap and they're quite expensive to replace if you can find them. So take good care of your airplane. In an emergency, put your flaps down at whatever you need, but that's, that's an emergency. So just good, safe handling of your aircraft, slowing it down, planning your approach, and then putting your flaps down. Long life to your airplane and no component reflection, uh, no component replacement. And then also why we're here today, while we've got them all out, we're going to come back and clean the torque tube and clean them all up. We're also going to take off this torque tube here and we're going to clean it up and we're going to take a look at, the, we're going to be replacing the bearing on the inside, the flat bearing, the one on the other end as well. So that's just a little issue. Uh, please take care of your aircraft, treat it gently. She is, she's an old girl, but she's a good girl. And again, I'd like to thank you for watching Grumman Pilots YouTube channel. Directly supports the Grumman Pilots Association, your GPA. Have a fun day flying your Grumman. While we're still on the um, flap and aileron issue, where your bearings are, it looks like there's some sort of, this looks like black grease, and it's a mixture of whatever the lubricant was, but if I run my finger on it, what it comes away with is dark gray, and what that is, is worn aluminum. Aluminum when it's worn, that's why your rivets smoke, and they smoke that particular gray color, it's oxidized aluminum coming off in the slipstream. Same thing here. So I can feel that there's hardly any wear. I will measure it, but I can just tell you from the feel, it's perfectly smooth. So with a new bearing that cleaned up, that's all going to go back. The trick is, on these bearings on your airplane, don't spray them with LPS 1, 2, or 3. Each ear, put a single drop of silicone in there, or Teflon, and let it go. Those are Teflon impregnated bronze bearings. So with either of those two lubricants, just a little bit, you put extra lubricant and what happens is it becomes now a wick and moisture can work its way in. And when moisture embeds itself in that bronze bearing, especially in climates like San Diego, Boise, Idaho, where it's a gritty environment from the silica that's in the air, what happens is it becomes like sandpaper and will just wear your torque tubes all the way through. So keep them clean and properly lubricated. It doesn't take much. The bearings are made to work with just a tiny amount of lubricant. So, like to, again, thank you for watching Grumman Pilot's YouTube channel, your GPA. Have a fun day flying.